if you have an Ender 3 or a Ender 3 Pro or a other Reality 3D printer or some other 3D printer that has a standard PTFE tube, we are going to exchange them into the Capricorn PTFE tube. Coming up on Zachary 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to reviews and many other things you can do with 3D printing. If you're new to the channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I also have some social media links, I will put the links in the description. If you want to support this channel, feel free to support this channel, I will put the Patreon link in the description of this video. Like I mentioned in the intro, today we are going to exchange the standard PTFE tube for the Capricorn PTFE tube. Why? It's a great PTFE tube. It has less gap between the filament and the tube. I will show you soon or later why. And it's a great upgrade for your 3D printer. It's not very expensive. I paid something like five or six dollars for this tube. Um, I will put some links in the description why, where to buy it. You can also find it on Google and find it on AliExpress or somewhere else and you can buy it. Um, that being said, let's install this. I'm not going to use everything. The rest I will leave for my other 3D printer that I'm also going to use a Bowden extruder. That being said, let's install the PTFE tube. So before we are going to install the Capricorn tube on our 3D printer, I want to mention that Capricorn has a web shop. The website is called captubes.com and I will put the link in the description of this video. They have different kind of series. They have the translucent series. They have a XS series and they have great value bundles so if you are looking for special PTFE tubes for your 3d printer you can find them on their web shop they even have pink colors if you don't like the blue or the dark blue ones so without further saying let's get into installing the Capricorn PTFE tube on our 3d printer So before I start with um, getting the tube of the, the filament out, I make sure that uh, the hot end is warm so that I can pull back the filament and then I'm going to remove the tube. Well, I've got the bullseye fan duct. It's not that difficult to remove. Something like this. Just one screw. And then we are going to this then we are going to pull this back because the tube comes with a coupler do it like this okay so here are going to cut the zip tie here very efficient 
just pull it down and put it up be careful the hot end is still hot like you can see there's some movement here so I'm going to like that and this one This one is always a problem, no problem. Just one. Something like this, and then put it out. Check which coupler you need to have. Just like this. Then tighten it up. What I always like to say, just be careful. Tight is tight. And don't push it. Something like that. Now, just getting the right length. It's just one meter that I'm going to use. So when you're going to take the length, just keep it next to it, just like this. So and make sure you have the right length. And when you cut it, I've got this, this board here. Just make sure that this is not bending here and then use the exacto knife and just cut it as slowly as possible in a straight line just like that it's not a big deal just make sure that the line is evenly together with one of those lines i don't have a ptf ptfa tube cutter if you have something like that it would be great I don't I'm not sure to use something like a plier like this or something like this I don't like to use that because when you're going to cut it you're going to squeeze it and then you get a different kind of cut and now the cut is good as possible saying that now I can show you why I'm going to exchange the tube So, like you can see, the tube looks already different, not mentioning the color, because color can be deceitful, but the tube is thinner. It looks like it is thinner. We are going to take the caliper. This tube has 4.1. 4.1. I said 4.1 here, 4.3. Yeah, well, sorry if, if, if it is upside down, but I can hold it better like this. And this is 3.8. So the tube looks thinner. Now we are going to take a part of a piece of filament. I've got a full uh, roll here, so it's no problem to use that as well. Just to show this, this is the normal situation. No big deal, it's running fine. See, this one is running fine as well. But the difference is, this is a little bit tighter. Well, in this case, it's very tight, but it's it's more it, it's better here. Of course, you always need to make sure that there are no blobs. And now, perfect. Like you can see, it's it's better. So now I'm going to put on the tube on my 3D printer. 
so when you put the tube inside of in my case all metal hot end there's already a copper in in it and it's grabbing very tight but i want to make sure that this is all the way down because i still feel some uh, movement something like this and I'll push it even further through and now i don't see any movement back and forth the only movement i see is from the carriage and the gantry so now we are going to put the tube on the right I also had it here between the tie wrap. Let's see if I can get it through it. Yeah. So like you could see, it's it's sturdier. So let's see if I can get less drag. this for the to be sure I'm going to use a tar wrap to just make sure that it's not getting loose I just have a small one here make sure that it is as tight as possible just a little tiny bit of movement but that's okay so now the part is going back. Don't forget any bits, of course. I got some one coupler left. Normally, this part will go into your uh, metal, uh, your hot end part. This one I keep for the other 3D printer because I still got some tube left that I'm going to use for the other 3D printer. Now we are going to load the filament into the 3D printer. So, little wrap up for this video. It's not that difficult to install the Capricorn PTFA tube with your standard PTFA tube. Um, like you can see, the tube is a little bit longer than the one that I did had installed. I can always make the tube shorter if I want, but maybe I want to make the 3D printer bigger so that I can make, uh, print bigger parts. That being said, thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to Zachary 3D Prints, and I will see you next time. Happy 3D printing, Zachary 3D print, bye bye.